Matt. And I am Robert. And we are two guys who watch movies, and today we are doing... Two guys who watch a trailer. Yeah, or react. We react to a trailer. Two guys who react to trailers. It yeah. could be boring as hell if you want to skip to it. Now, in all fairness, I should feel I should tell people, I hate Batman. I think Batman is overrated. Batman is not a superhero. Batman is a millionaire with wonderful toys. Yeah, I love Batman. Uh, <laughs> so we are exact opposites on this. Batman's one of my favorite uh, comic book uh, heroes. Heroes. Uh, of, uh, I'd say all time. Uh, my two bigs uh, growing up was Batman and Spider-Man. So I was like in both, both uh, playhouses. I was DC and Marvel. So every time I was grabbing comics, Batman comics, Spider-Man comics. Every time, man. So I am really looking forward to this. I have been waiting to watch this trailer. Um... I just haven't got a chance yet because we have to do this reaction. Yes. Um, with that said, I have seen every Batman video uh, movie. I have played the Batman games. I have seen the Batman cartoons. I have read the Batman comics. I just think he's overrated. That's all. Okay. So, this is our reaction to The Batman. WB, what the hell? Is that tape? <laughs> Someone See, ripping something. They had to tape DC back together. Oh, now I understand. It's a Batman, so it has to be dark. What the hell? No more lies? I'm your secret friend. Aww, a secret friend. I'm thinking that's Gordon. He has emo boots. Nice. Hey, Jigsaw's a new bad guy. Sweet. No bad nipples. That's a good thing. Holy crap, they brought Arson Wells back from the dead. Was that the cat? Mm -hmm. That's the cat. Maybe. Someone's really obsessed with lying. Overrated. Jesus, but thank you. Wow, <laughs> that was awesome. Did, did Batman just beat ass? Batman just beat the crap out of some guy. Holy shit. Ha! Ha! Uh... Ha! Alright, you ready to go back in there? Yeah! Alright. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I mean, I... I see the same problems I always see with Batman, but that wasn't bad. Uh, yeah, I, I just feel bad that uh, I didn't say a whole lot watching that trailer because I just was really kind of captivated by it. Uh, yeah, I'm really liking the tone. If the tone of the movie matches the tone of the trailer, I, I think they did a few things right there. Uh, uh, mm, okay. <laughs> I... There's still point making a man in a bat suit. Uh, he's a he's a man. Yeah. In a bat suit, Scott. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, that so, man in a bat suit seemed quite pissed off. And, 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 well, and, here's the thing: the whole point of Batman is supposed to bring fear to the criminals. It's a bat. And 
I feel in this one they did a little bit better job of that because especially because they're shooting it in you know more shadow and stuff like that but they're they're making him a more intimidating presence and that's what he's got to be if you're not intimidating presence you're you're, you're not doing it right but uh the the whole i am vengeance line which oddly enough was i believe supposed to be in the original batman film the the tim burton one uh the line was supposed to be i am vengeance uh or i am the knight one of the two and uh michael keaton had changed it to i am batman uh which they just thought the way he said it the way he did it they liked it better and that's why it ended up in the film but you know i've always loved the i am vengeance i am the knight for batman i, I always felt that was far more intimidating because then he's not the batman he's not uh th this uh character he is a force he's a force to be reckoned with he's a force of vengeance and the other thing with that is that uh, he never refers to himself as Batman. It's other people do. Because uh, he's dressed as a giant bat. Right, because that's <laughs> totally the same. Um, wow, I will say this. We're 40 seconds removed from watching the trailer, and I couldn't tell you anything I just watched with the exception of the guy getting the beat down. And I believe okay, I the Riddler is the bad guy. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think there's multiple villains in this. Oh, they tried that. Yeah, I, and I'm just saying, I believe there are multiple villains in this, and I like the fact that the trailer is kind of key. I, 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 there's one main villain in this. That's the one that's Tom with the lies. And honestly, I can't see it very well if I could see the mask better, because uh, I'm actually from the way we're watching this, the the laptops further away from me i can't get a really good look at it i'm gonna to have to rewatch the trailer um but i suspect I'll, i might be able to figure out who the, the villain is just by looking at, uh, at the trailer again uh but i believe there's supposed to be multiple villains i don't think there's one villain and i don't think they're doing it like the other films i think they're doing this the right way instead of having it oh we've got three villains and we're gonna to have to go and do their origin stories and we're gonna to have to go and have them fight all of the no it's going to be He's going to show that there's multiple villains in this world. That's not who he's currently going after. Mm. But they're still there. Just because they're not the big bad for the movie doesn't stop them from being in that world. And I think that's what they're trying to have, trying to convey in this film, that there are multiple villains. There are multiple guys doing their own thing in this. And Batman's on this case, and he's trying to get things done. So this is the third, fourth, third reboot. Third. Third. Keaton. Um, well, the, the original Tim Burton ones, because even though Keaton wasn't the Batman, right, the whole thing. So, so okay. we'll do the Tim Burton arc. That was there was four films because he one. Yeah, so that was the first, and the first Boring reboot. Was next. The first reboot was Christopher Nolan's reboot. Yeah, which. And then uh, technically they rebooted him for the Affleck. for um, uh, Zack Snyder. Uh, he, they just didn't do the origin story. Right. Uh, instead, they just. Went right, went right into it. Oh, it was Batman. No, Batman Superman was Affleck. Yeah, that was Affleck. Yeah, yeah, that was. Which I actually Batfleck. enjoyed Batfleck. Well, guess what? He's coming back. Huh? Yes, he will be back for the Flash movie. I'm in. They convinced him. Nice. So, that's another oh, thing to look oh, forward to. Okay, as somebody who doesn't like Batman and has seen every Batman film, every Batman comic, yeah, 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 I'm. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, looking I'm looking forward, forward, to, forward this. to this. Yeah. Weird. And, and I, I like the uh, actor uh, playing him, too. Uh, I, 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 th I think he's uh, doing a pretty uh, in interesting job so far. Keep in mind, this is just a teaser. Right. We don't know enough yet. We got to see uh, what, what uh, comes out when they come out with it. I, I'm looking forward to other trailers. We might do another reaction video uh, when more trailers come out. We'll see. Uh, it has to be quite a bit different if we uh do the reaction video and it turns out the trailer is practically the same thing and we probably won't post it right uh but we'll see so yeah so far like what we're seeing uh, i'm looking forward to it yep all right that's it this is your right. short one see ya cool laters